So today's plan is to get from Gailey, where we moored up last night, past Penkridge, possibly to Tixall Wine, which is just near Great Hayward. Um, but we'll just see how we go, really. And uh, we're just about to go through the first lock now. Brian's just filling it up for us. And then we'll be on our way. It's cold this morning. Quite cold. And we let the fire go out overnight, so that wasn't a smart move. Not doing that again. Not until spring next year. <laughs> That we have to do today. There's a lovely gentleman um, that we let go through the first lock before us because uh, we had to empty our cassettes. And we let him before us at the top. Yeah, so, so we, we kind of like frog jumped each other. And then he let us go in front of him, which was nice of him. But yeah, he was really lovely, really funny to chat to. <laughs> so it's always nice when you have friendly people to go through locks with. Yeah. So we are heading towards Penkridge now. Past the M6 past the noisy M6, which I'm sure you can hear in the background. <sighs> I am well and truly warmed up now though. Yeah. <sighs> Lux will do that. <laughs> We're cruising through the centre of Penkridge at the moment. Gone through most of the locks. I think we've got about three more to do today. Three or four more to do today. And we saw we saw another wirehead fox terrier, which could have been Pixel's twin. Yeah, same he was markings. A, same yeah. markings, same colourings. He was adorable. He was better groomed. He had been clipped <laughs> recently, whereas Pixel needs a clip which we are planning to do once we get into the marina in a couple of days. Yeah. So hopefully she will look as gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, she's always super cute, but <laughs> she's a bit scruffy. Hatch 
Pixel. A bit scruffy. It's keeping her warm. Winter's coming. It's her winter coat. Coming to the time of the year, due to the start of the cold weather and the rain, some trees start falling in the canal. Second fallen tree in a couple of days that we've had Yeah. The Luckily they haven't blocked the canal. Yeah. Navigate that like the crow. Successfully dodged it. Yeah. Even though there was a boat moored literally on it. Yeah, almost. Nearly, on nearly on it. Yeah. Maybe not literally. But if it had been like half a boat length back, we wouldn't have been able to get past. It would have been, yeah. It doesn't look like I anybody's on that boat. I don't think so.
one of our favourite gardens on the yeah. canal. We're a bit jealous of this garden. It's so big too! And they've got these big lovely trees. We are cruising through Tixel White, which is white. It's the widest canal I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's navigable all the way to the edge. Well, supposedly all the way to the edge. Ooh, that's my alarm. You're ruining our shot, Maggie. I know. Is that a heron or is that a... That's a heron. Not like a... It's a real heron. It's a real heron. Standing on the one little pole that says don't go this far. Basically. Okay, that's that's the edge. Yeah, so Heron. Um, and we are headed to Great Hayward Junction, which is just around the corner. And then we've decided we're just gonna go through the junction, turn left onto the Trenton Mersey and go a little bit. Up through the first lock we think. Just to and make sure stop. we get through all the stoppages that start on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Because the fourth is creeping up on us quite quickly now. Yeah. So we just want to get through everything so that we know we're not going to get stuck. <laughs> yeah. Because that'll be like a Halloween thing, wouldn't it? Uh, Considering yeah. it's, a whole, it's Halloween today. Yep. Get stuck on. <laughs> That's our horror story, getting stuck on the Stars of Worcester. Yeah. We are back at Great Haywood again. We've been here a few times this year. We have to go further afield next year. So Ryan's just turned onto the Trenton Mersey. Um, we're not too far away from the marina now, but we're not gonna go too much further. It's been a long day. So I better go and catch up with him so I can get on the boat. Just had a thought that the 
Canal and River Trust will probably be moving all the um, the stuff to help repair the locks that they're shutting down on the 4th and the boat that just passed has had a lot of pipes and that and a lot of pumping um, equipment so that's probably for the lock down at Great Haywood so, so we got three just in time yeah because <laughs> that, they'll be starting that in the next couple of days yeah yeah real soon yeah oh, so glad we got through that it's a little <laughs> bit stressful thinking like what if something happens that like the damaged lock suddenly breaks just before it's supposed to schedule the close so they close it like three days early but don't have to worry now <laughs> don't have to worry now <laughs> Put a leaf in my mouth. <laughs> a little leaf stuck to my finger. Today is the day that we actually head into Aston Marina. For the winter. For winter. Yep, so we'll be there for probably about four months, depending on the weather, yeah. how cold it is, and how we feel about leaving in the cold. Yes. <clears throat> this year we were a little bit delayed getting out of the marina because it was horrible windy stormy kind of weather so yeah we got a few early storms last year yeah didn't we? so we uh, left a bit later than we intended so we'll really just see how it goes for next year when we leave next year yep but today is the day we're heading into the marina and quite looking forward to that actually yes a, yeah winter cruising i don't know <laughs> oh, it would be fine if we had like the because at the moment obviously we don't have the generator running yeah. um, we've just got the one alternator to charge the batteries and the solar panels and the solar panels were great during the end of uh, summer but coming into autumn they've still been pretty good but nowadays but, they're really not really doing very uh, much so. I mean, we're getting very very diminishing returns especially when it's been cloudy and rainy yeah which it has been and we would so. we would really struggle trying to charge the batteries just on the one alternator during the winter i think our batteries are shot as well so yeah, we're gonna so have, have to, to replace, replace those batteries. before we leave the marina for next year so yeah it's one less thing to kind of like stress about mm. is the batteries like running out of power if we go into the marina over the winter we're attached to the shoreline so we don't have to worry about it we have a lot of stuff to work on over winter <laughs> quite a lot of stuff to get caught up yeah. on a lot of work's like, been building up in this last couple of months which have been moving so rapidly yeah with mum and dad over and we've been cruising almost constantly like the last two months pretty much so yeah it'll be nice to kind of stop and catch up on have work. a breather yeah, yeah do the work exit of the marina and we're gonna go up to the entrance Pretty hard to miss that bright it's green bright color. Bright green, yeah. So we see mummy and daddy's bright green boat. <laughs> mummy and daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <How old are> you? <laughs> it's your mummy and daddy. We're checking in on that all through winter. Make sure yeah. it doesn't sink. <laughs> 